Hey. Hey, Phil. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Listen, okay. Got a very teeny story to tell you before we get into this interview. So I covered the junket for Good Burger, the first film. And yeah, I know I know I only look 25, Phil, but yes, I was there. I brought my then six-year-old son with me on the junket. Of course, you know, they wanted kids there. So when we get up on the stage to do the interview with Keenan and Kel, they proceeded to teach my son, Ethan, how to stick grapes up his nose. I will never forget huh. that experience. My son will never forget that, who is 31 now. Um, I have to tell you, Good Burger holds a very special place in my heart. So I wanted to know from you, when was the first time you remember seeing Good Burger? I want to tell you, we, so we stick uh, grapes up Kel's nose again this time. And I sort of hadn't really focused on the fact that grapes, it depends on the size of the grape. So, so we had we had the two big grapes for a while, and then it was the, the like the most stressful time on the in the whole shoot was <laughs> running around trying to find smaller grapes to stick up Kel's nose. <laughs> uh, we found them, and it was all good. And awesome. now there's grapes in his nose again, and we're happy days. But yeah, yeah to, well, to I this no day, idea I hope my was, son but. does not stick grapes up his nose, or his future children. He better not teach them. But I, I have to say, Phil, listen. You have to have had the best time of your life directing this film. It is so much fun. It really is ridiculously fun. Yeah, well, fun's the word. I mean, it was a fun year of my life, that's for sure. It's like, if you can make a living. I feel sorry for my kids because they're watching their dad go to work each day, but making Good Burger 2. Like, I, what are they going to do that's as fun as that? I mean, maybe my one of them can direct Good Burger 3. I, like, well, let's hope it doesn't take 26 years for Good Burger 3 to come out again. Well, but you're exactly. right, it was all about fun and uh, the whole idea of the film is fun and joy and silliness and no stress, right? So, um, so hopefully it looks like it was that much fun to make because that's the feeling that we want at the end of the watching it. Or while you're watching, it, you should just have no stress. It should just be fun and silly. And you know, in a world which has stress in it, so you should this this should be a, a, a time some time out. One hundred percent. I I told I totally agree. You know, families can watch it all together and not have to worry about what's going on in our world right now for you know an hour and a half. Um, Keenan and Cal, you know, look, I know they've kept in touch over the years. There's no question about it. But it was kind of like you know just putting on the old comfortable slippers. Like, what was it like when the two of them got back on set together to play these characters? <laughs> it really was like that. They put the put the uh, Good Burger uniforms on. <laughs> and sat in the Burgermobile, and then we were, they were just back, you know, there was no, and they're their friends, so the, it, it was all very relaxed, you know, I'd say, like, they, they're the ultimate professionals, like, they know their lines, they know what they're doing, and, and once you start from, with that, then it, it's just a joy to shoot, isn't it, you can just, just say action, and then you never have to say cut, because they're just playing around, and you know, everyone's giggling. You look over at the cameraman and the cameraman are giggling and you look over at the fans and the fans are all watching because they've, but we've told them to be quiet, please, while we're shooting. So they can pin drop silent, you know, everyone's just watching and get, you know, it's great. And then I say cut and everyone starts cheering and clapping and Keenan and Cal high-fiving. And it's just like, yeah. what is happening? It's just, why can't life always be like this? Yeah, and what I love so much too, I just could not stop laughing at Kel, at, well, at Ed's family. Oh my God. I, I just honestly, like, the house is good burger, the family, they're all dressed up, they all look alike. I mean, it was just hysterical. And I loved his son, Ed, you know, uh, Ed, Kel, uh, Ed too, you know, and the one who played his son that was almost his identical twin. How much did Kel and Ed kind of, sorry, Kel and, and the young actor who played Ed uh, too, get, you know, talk about this? Because even though we see it as silliness, seriously. Uh, yeah, that's such a good question. And and it was one of the most memorable bits on set for me watching because Alex Hibbert is the guy is the a brilliant young actor who played um, uh, Ed too. Yes. And so he did a great impersonation, you know, and he got the part just because he was you could tell he was a great actor and he did a good impersonation. And then Kel um, and me and Alex went off for an hour and Kel taught Alex how Ed thinks and yeah. what how Ed reacts how Ed interprets things. Like it's really a, a well thought through crafted acting masterclass. I, and yet it's just the most stupid, shallow, almost looking character you could possibly imagine. But to watch yeah. Kel generously sort of 
explain things with no uh, was just uh i found a new level of respect for the whole thing it was just yeah. just fascinating and then alex understood it all and then you could feel him really just so happy can you imagine to a young actor not only saying the lines welcome right. to good burger but then acting it with ed and then getting this master class it's like yeah. beyond everyone's dreams yeah yeah it, it's a lot of fun to watch and you know you have a convertible now to work with so i guess that one is uh you know a little bit easier to shoot <laughs> <laughs> well we had to get five people in it so there was a bit of <laughs> like ah what are we gonna do we gotta cram them in it was easier to shoot also we have the same production designer on this one as did the original yeah. Um, so the the guy who originally Stephen who originally designed the the Bergmobile has done it bigger and better for this one. So yeah, yeah, and then we smash it up a few times. I mean, it gets ex exploded and smashed. It's in all yeah. these stunts. So then they had to make two of them. <laughs> it was it, it was a lot. Um, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, and I cannot uh, mention all the amazing cameos. I don't want to give away too much, but I mean, look, of course, Keenan has a lot of his friends from SNL. Um, and then it's mm. just a cornucopia of cameos. I mean, seriously. I, and people watch right to the very, very end, past the credits. Like, honestly, it's it's such a gift. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Every day was every day we had fun people just want wanting to be there. And it wasn't like they're just taking the paycheck. It was incoming phone calls going, please can I be in? How can I be in Good Burger? I'll bring, I'll get myself there. Just tell me, I just want to order a burger. And yeah. uh yeah, we were just happy with to have all of them. And lastly, I need to know, Phil, how many burgers were consumed in the making of this film? Well, it's not just consumed, how many burgers were thrown? Because there's this insanely <laughs> well, true, massive true. food fight kind of thing. And <laughs> I, I've never seen so much food plated up. <laughs> Fake food and real food, I'll say. And to all to be thrown around. But yeah, a lot. It's kind of a lot when you're filming in a fast food place all day, every day. There's a lot of fries and burgers that you're nibbling on. It's not the most uh, healthy. Yeah, not the most healthy, but the most fun for us to watch. Uh, listen, thank you so much for your time today, Phil. Like I said, um, I, I was very excited for this and it did not disappoint. Loads of fun. So thank you so much and best of luck with the, with the film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. And you. Thank you. Thanks.